everyone welcome back to abra knowledge channel today we are going to see part 2 of confidence interval with five example which we are going to cover today and the very special part is we are going to do it in excel as well as many tab software as such so this is coming from the book called statistic for manager using microsoft excel 7th edition wonderful book big volume but it covers various aspect of statistic and this is the example which is given in the very book very same book so it is given in the example 8.3 it is given an example of insurance company uh, which has an objective to reduce the number of days and this is the processing they have given the data so the uh, the processing time for life insurance application these are all the processing time like one took 73 days 19 days 16 days and so on and so forth and the same example they have done it uh, in the box plot box plot you all know that it is uh, all about uh, it contains the median quartile whiskers and so on and the probability uh, plot uh, so it gives that how the values are being spread so that what it gives and this is the formula which i already covered in my past uh, video but for the quick benefit of all i will quickly tell uh, this one so standard error of mean formula is standard deviation divided by square root of uh, n value and degree of freedom uh, is n minus 1 interval half fit again you need to multiply with sc mean into t value and uh, interval lower limit and upper limit you need to add with average minus interval half fit plus if you do it that will become ul so this is the typical example which they have done so the moral of this one is the value of this one is the value is the it will it will change between 33 days to 53 days so that what we concluded from this so the next example uh, this is i have already done this one and in the part one i'm not going to exp explain further and that's, uh, all you need to do is you need to give the data set when you give a data set automatically all the value will get calculated for example let me give uh, one more example let's say i have deleted all the values and now let me delete all the values okay i'm simply giving some values here like 1 2 3 4 five any values so automatically this uh, interval with Uh, gets calculated all the 10 uh, values or attributes gets calculated and as i said in part 1 this video or uh, this template you can avail it when you comment it this template can be given upon your request let's talk about another example uh, example number 2 and it's a new example uh, it is been it is there in the same very book called statistic for manager in this example the file is uv contain the overall miles per gallon an mpj of 2012 small suv car this is the uh, you know the data they have given and they have also taken the data from uh, consumer reports rating consumer reports now what we need to do is we need to construct 95 percentage confidence confidence interval estimate and we also need to interpret the result also as well what it did uh, so simply i just copy paste the value so 2022 20, and all that i just put it up in the same template automatically all the value got calculated standard uh, deviation and n value standard uh, error of mean and degree of freedom confidence uh, intervals that they have given as 95 i'll keep it 95 t value mean value and the interval lower uh, limit is 20 days and i mean 20 uh, miles per gallon and upper is 22 miles per gallon so this is already got calculated so like this even when you wanted to append this value for example instead of 20 i'll make it 40 example automatically all the value will get uh, changed right so this is the uh, speciality about this uh, template let's talk about the third example the the third example pretty much the same set of data the file said on contain the overall miles per gallon and it is coming from the same book and we need to uh, uh, you know construct the confidence interval estimate of 95 percentage 
all I, all I did it, I just put it up all the values here, whatever the values been given. So there are 17, n equal to 17 that I have given. So I just now automatically all the value uh, get uh, calculated. And uh, so here how much value, n value we have, 17. So 16 values we have, the last value is 21. Let me check. Yeah, last value is 21. It's automatically it is already there. So uh, it, it gives like a standard deviation. What is the n value and uh, n value? Uh, yeah, so n value and uh, what is the standard uh, error of mean and confidence level? This confidence level, since it is given 95%, I'm going with the 95. You can also change it to 99 in some cases. Like again, the value will get value will get uh, changed so i will let me keep it back to 95 percentage let's talk about the fourth example interesting example it is coming from the same book the file fast food contains the amount that a sample of 15 customer spend for lunch at a fast food restaurant for example seven dollar six dollar and all that all this is being there and uh, now when you put it the confidence uh, intervals it is minimum the lower limit it says six dollar the maximum seven point eight dollar so that's what uh, easily we can calculate it and not only that even if you have a value like this like uh, n you have a standard the mean of error of course you can calculate it using the n value and uh, standard deviations and uh, all these will get uh, calculated so the same example and I tried to do it in this uh, tabulated format. Again, I got the same value. So these are all the things which we have done in Excel. Let's do it in mini tab. I have already pasted all these examples. Like for example, uh, the cycle time which we have already seen in part one. I'm going to skip it. And let me take the second example, the SUV example. So all you need to do is go to start, basic statistic, and uh, one sample t test. I will go and click it and uh, so I'm going to put it like C2 and and then option 95 percentage fantastic give OK. So it says that uh, see we, we can compare this result with the Excel what we have. So exactly uh, you, you see here actually like it is exactly the values are pretty much the same so confidence intervals 95 percentage 20.53 exactly the same value we have and uh, let me just move a bit so upper is 22.692 exactly the same value we have got in mini tab also as well and of course the other value also we got exactly the same value we have got it like standard error of mean and so on and so forth. So let's do uh, another one. And what I will do, I will just change it to uh, this control E. Let me go and put it up example number three. Now we are going to go with the sedan example. And again, I'm changing 95%. I'm keeping the same confidence level. I'm going to give OK. Now I'm going to compare with Excel. So in this one, this is a sedan example and uh, we have 22 and 29 days miles per gallon right exactly the same value we have got here right so this is the speciality about uh, this one even with the fast food let's do the third one and i'm going back to mini tab and control e and where i can go to the last uh, edited window and then i'm gonna give it fast food give okay it says 6.3 and 7.8 dollar right and let's see how much we have got in excel yeah 6.3 and 7.87 exactly the same value maybe let me close this one exactly the same value we have got here right uh, 6.3 and 7.8 exactly the same value we have got here and even if you have any data which is uh, not you have you don't have a populated value but you have a resultant value like this still you will be able to use this excel and calculate uh, the intervals and you can calculate the confidence level uh, standard error of mean and so on 
i hope this uh, video is very useful please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful day ahead